Hey, thanks for joining my channel, The Eclectic Life. Today we're going to be building a bandsaw box. So right now we're fixing to cut up the blanks for the bandsaw box. And um, we'll go over that and then we'll move to the next step. We're fixing to cut the cherry up right now. I'll show you the design a little later. kind of give you a rundown this box is going to let me wait for this so you can hear me this box is going to include cherry um, it's going to include cherry Peruvian walnut and one piece of Padoot just to kind of give it a little color and liven it up a little bit I think it's going to look pretty good By the way, it worked out perfect for that that run of cherry. Where that last piece was exactly the same as the other ones. down a little bit more to the final dimensions. The only thing about the Paduk is because it's not wide enough for the blank I want to use for the bandsaw box, I'm going to have to cut two pieces and then glue them together, let them dry and then cut them down to where they'll be um, the same width as, as what I want, which I believe is going to be seven and a half. So, yeah. Don't even think about looking at my mess in my garage, okay? Just focus on the machine. Alright, so what we're doing now is we're going to um, run this Paduke through the jointer so that we, we get a nice flat surface to do a really clean glue up and a strong hold. Alright, here we go. 
And by the way, just to let you know, this is the Grizzly 8 inch joiner planer combo. <clears throat> I think I, I'd say 98, 99% of the time, I only use the joiner on this. I don't really have the need to plane too many just 8 inch wide pieces. I've got a 13 inch uh, rigid planer that I use for my planing necessities. But this has been an excellent joiner. I don't care what anybody else says. A lot of people, well, I wouldn't say a lot of people, I would just say some people have mixed feelings about it. But I personally think it's a, uh, a good machine, although it is the only joiner I've ever owned. So I'm sure it's not, you know, on par with a Powermatic or anything like that. Keep that in mind. But here we go. Get that uh, joined down. Kept getting a little bit of snipe on on the ends for some reason. I normally don't do that. Maybe it's just the wood. I'm gonna have to run them through one more time. That Padua always smells really weird. It smells good though to me. Yeah, I got a little bit of snipe on that one. All right, so I'm going to get set up to do the glue up and I'll be back to you guys. All right, we're back. Uh, about to do the Padouk glue up that I was talking about earlier. <clears throat> Just a little side note. When you're joining the two sides to um, glue them up, you obviously want them pretty much perfect. And for me anyways, what I did is I mark one side of the board so I can match those dots up and keep planing the right side so you don't get confused and that way it just makes it easier once you set things down and you're trying to get them get them lined back up to uh, get ready to glue up i mean without any pressure that uh that joint is almost disappearing so i'd say it's looking pretty good um all right let's put some glue on it like to always like to put one on top just to keep everything in line one day I ain't got enough room I don't know
are looking pretty sweet. Pretty good, I'd say. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. And then what we'll probably end up doing is, of course, planing it down, make everything nice and smooth. Make it look, look a little prettier. You know how it is when you have a glue joint, or maybe you don't, maybe you never glued anything up. Either way, we'll uh, be back when we are gluing all the planks together to make the um, body of the box, or I guess the, the box, the chunk of the box, which I'm not 100% committed to doing the cherry Peruvian walnut and the Baduke. I'm kind of thinking that I might end up doing all Peruvian walnut and one strip of Baduke just to really, I don't know, I just think it might look better. I'll think about that over the next 24 hours, I guess. All right. All right, we're back. Um, the next day. <clears throat> the Baduk is fully cured and set up. We're going to take it out of the clamps now. Definitely not coming apart anytime soon, that's for sure. See the glue, that's some pretty, you know, decent squeeze out. I don't think you gotta put a, a, you know, a ton of glue on there, just enough to kind of squeeze out the joints. No need wasting glue. I don't think there's really a point to, um, to have it dripping just everywhere, you know? If it drips a little bit, it drips a little bit, but other than that, any more than that, I should say, it's probably unnecessary. Hopefully that's not glued. No, there's a little bit of glue on there. I had to blame that off. That's nice. Yeah. get set up to plane a couple of these pieces down dress this one up a little bit as well and I'll check these others before we go any further they're pretty good though looking pretty good pretty good All right, I'll get set up real quick. I'll be back. All right, we're back. We're going to plane. Uh, all these pieces have already been planed, but we've got to obviously clean that glue off, make that look more presentable. And then, like I said before, the Baduke is all ready. We're going to run it through the planer a couple times, get it nice and smooth on both sides. Even up that joint a little bit. <clears throat> and then we'll uh, we'll get to gluing the uh, pieces together.
trying to show you as I was doing it. Um, where is this snake right there? We're gonna get rid of that. Um, it looks pretty smooth, pretty good. I'd say the only reason you can see the seam is because the grain's not matching up, just because it was off the same piece, but not, you know, it wasn't a book match cut or anything, so. But, looks pretty good, smooth, you can't feel it, so, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get set up to do the glue up, and we'll be back. All right, we're fixing to do the glue up for the bandsaw box. As you can see over here, I, uh, right there, I decided to add one piece of cherry. I think it goes pretty good with it. I think it's going to look really nice all glued up. I just hope I got enough glue. I'm running low on glue. Time to restock. I just spent 20 minutes cleaning off my glue roller that I got from Rockler. It works pretty nice. I'm not, I don't use the actual dispensing part of the glue too much, or the roller too much, but it's nice to have this so you don't have to spread it by, by hand or with your fingers. So what I've done here is I've put one dot for the top of the wood and then two dots for the side. So that way it keeps everything lined up nice. I don't get confused because I've got all the pieces cut to where they line up. Not perfect. They ain't got to be perfect. I'll clean up the uh, edges and straighten everything up with a bandsaw once it's all glued up and ready. All right, let's get started. All right, there you have it. We've got a chunk of wood and a chunk of glue sitting right there. It's gonna look pretty good once it's all said and done. I don't know if you noticed this white paper sitting right here. It's like a I think it's like a wax paper. I think it's actually uh, uh, like some kind of uh, cooking paper. I like it because it keeps the glue from building up on my table. So it's pretty cheap. It's not expensive to buy. I hope you find it. We're leaking. But uh, yeah. And I usually lay it down when I'm doing glue ups like this just so uh, we don't get glue stuck all over the table and then I got to uh, scrape it off. All right, well, we've got the box gluing up. Everything's looking pretty good.